Since the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine war, more than 3 million Ukrainians have been forced to leave their homes and escape to neighboring countries. The Czech Republic has accepted over 300,000 refugees. An NGO in Prague has rented a hotel to house Ukrainian refugees. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang is in Prague with the details. Over 300,000 Ukrainian refugees have entered the Czech Republic since the war began. An NGO in Prague is providing housing for 290 refugees. Through colors in her drawing book, this is Anna, a three-year-old Ukrainian refugee who recently arrived in Prague with her mother. They take language courses with volunteers and social workers at this hotel. Originally, I am from Ukraine, Kiev, but my parents moved here uh, 20 years ago, and uh, for all of my life, I've been living here in Czech Republic. For me, it's very important to uh, help uh, these people because uh, I feel part of them uh, as a Ukrainian, and I, I couldn't imagine myself uh, at any other place than here in the refugee hotel. This is the biggest room or place in the hotel. So it's a dining room and also the language courses. The Organization for Aid to Refugees, based in Prague, provides free housing, food, legal and social counseling, language training programs, and other services. So far, it has housed some 290 Ukrainian refugees in a hotel. The hotel was renovated to accommodate Ukrainian refugees. It has signs in both Czech and Ukrainian. The walls are filled with children's drawings and photos. We provide accommodation, which is the main thing, and then also free of charge food. We try to get the children to schools as soon as possible, so almost all the Ukrainian children living here are already at, in Czech schools. And we try now to focus more on finding jobs to Ukrainian women. We need mainly financial donations because we must provide a lot of Czech language courses and then adaptation courses for the children because the governmental plan is that as of 1st September the children will be at schools and the mothers at, at jobs. According to data from the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, 3.06 million Ukrainian refugees have fled their country since the start of Russia's invasion. The Czech Republic has accepted over 300,000 refugees from neighboring countries. The majority are women, children and older people with underlying vulnerabilities such as chronic illness and mental and physical disabilities. As of this May, 324,850 refugees who arrive in the Czech Republic have been granted temporary protection visas with access to the labor market and a monthly stipend. We accommodate here 290 refugees. Almost all of them are women with uh, smaller babies, some elderly people. And we also run an operation of first reception point in the Prague train station, which received one month ago six to 9,000 refugees daily from Ukraine, now six to 900 daily, which is still a lot for the Czech Republic because annually the Czech Republic receives 1,000 to 2,000 asylum applications, not more. So to have suddenly 324,000 new refugees from Ukraine is a huge operation and challenge for the Czech society and also for our organization. Taiwan has donated 2.5 million U.S. dollars to help Ukrainian refugees who have fled to the Czech Republic. He Liang Rei, director of the Taipei Economic and Culture Office in Prague, says that his office supports Czech charities that help Ukrainian refugees. Taiwan the people of Taiwan donated to the government. In addition to directly assisting Ukrainian refugees, our government also cooperates with countries in Central Europe that are helping Ukrainian refugees. We care very much about the resettlement of Ukrainian refugees. We also believe that Central and Eastern European countries, including the Czech Republic, have provided a lot of refugee assistance. After receiving donations from the public, the government decided to provide 2.5 million US dollars to Czech charities to assist in the resettlement of Ukrainian refugees. The Czech Republic and Taiwan are extending their support to Ukrainians. Officials urge the public to join the effort and offer donations to people in need. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Huang Ritsun in the Czech Republic.